Hello, welcome to Handyman Learning RV. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how I make battery cables and show the two different methods I use to attach the lug terminals to the end of the cables. So let's get started. Okay, come close. This is how I make my battery cables and trim some wires. For battery cables, this is the 2 gauge. I just measure down like so. I know right there. You can take a utility knife. Go around. Pops right on off. Make sure all the paper comes with it. And give it a test fit. Perfect. When I crimp them, what I like to do, is you can do it this way with a tool. Just lift it up, put it in. And then you wanna take a big hammer. Make sure it's tight. I get three smacks. And then it's crimped. The other way you can do it, let me take this out. Do the same thing again. Mark it, okay. Grab my utility knife. Go around. Slide off. Give it a test fit. Perfect. I can put it in my vise. I come over here. Now I grab my blowtorch and my solder. Now what you can do, you can put some flux on the wire and take your solder, heat it up, and just keep them Heat it up and just keep on filling it up until it gets about halfway. Then you can slowly slide your wire in and just and what you have to do is just keep your torch on into as it gets as it goes in it will stop, but you keep your torch on and it will go the rest of the way in. What I like to use is they call their slugs. You sit them right in, it has the flux already inside the center. So you just sit it right in there. It, it, the slugs are made per size. This 2 op wire, 2 o wire. And the slugs are made according to what size wire you're using. Then you just take your blowtorch and hold it against the lug. Heat it up. Take a little bit of time, but not much. You can see the flux is already starting, and there it goes. Couple of seconds to start making sure everything's melted. Hot. Slowly slide it in. Now you see it stop. There it goes, all the way down. See the solder try to bubble out. We look around and see solder starting to bubble out. And those ones that are stray, you can either leave them there or I just take I just cut them off as close as I can. Now, depending on what I'm doing. I have heat shrink that I put on the end. If it's a positive wire, I'll use red. If it's negative, I'll use black. All I do is take a pair of scissors, cut a piece, slide it over, grab the torch, Nice 
fitting. I'm gonna keep that going because I'm gonna show you the other type of heat sink they make also. This heat treating is a little bit thicker. Cut a piece, slide it on, and stuff like that. You'll see why in a second. Now, if you see, look real close, there's glue inside there. And the glue seals it. This is just regular, this is watertight heat shrink. So it has it, it heats up, it glue inside that makes it watertight. Now I make my battery cable ends. I put my battery cables in. You can either Use a metal crimp or solder. Now, for doing on regular small ones, let's strip a little bit off, twist it a little bit. Two, I like to use this tool right here. This tool right here, you, you can hold that to the side. It has a curved end and a crimp end. You just put it in to that. You can almost get it completely started. And then you take the wire. And you slide it in. And just... And it's good and tight. Have that ready. Slide the wire in. Crimp. Nice and tight. You just heat it up. And you can see the glue coming out there and now it's a watertight seal. This is probably the best crimper I've ever used. And it comes with different, different heads depending on what you're trying to crimp so I'm glad I got this I used to use the old style no, this is so much better so this is how I do them if you want to this is a uh, handyman learning RVs subscribe to my channel and I'll have more videos coming out soon thank you very much